When a news story falls through the cracks, Lewis Black catches it for a segment we call Back in Black. The new year means new laws are going into effect all across the country. Think of them as America's New Year's resolutions. But unlike our personal resolutions, they're meant to last a little longer than the first time we pass a cheesecake factory. <laughs> so let's take a look at some of the new laws debuting in 2019. In New Hampshire, you must be at least 16 years old now in order to get married, but that's as long as you have parental consent. Until now, girls could get married at 13 and boys at 14. Oh, no! New Hampshire is raising the marriage age from 13 to 16. Won't somebody think of R. Kelly? <laughs> but I'm... But I'm glad they're raising the age! Unbelievable. No one is mature enough to make a long-term commitment at age 13. I know your bar mitzvah says you're a man, but that's just bullshit made up to get you an Xbox money. <laughs> Teenagers should not get married. 13, 16, it doesn't matter. You still can't drink. And drinking is the only way to get through a marriage. <laughs> Vermont's new laws are making it rain. Vermont will begin paying people to move there up to $10,000 over two years for people employed by out-of-state companies who are willing to work in Vermont remotely from a home office or a cooperative workspace. We have a demographic problem in this state. We need more people. All right, Vermont. I'm going to tell you the same thing I told my aunt when I saw her OK Cupid page. <laughs> Quit acting so thirsty. <laughs> Seriously, you're offering 10 grand to live in Vermont? If the state has to pay you money to live in it, that's a good sign I don't want to live in that state. <laughs> what good is $10,000 in Vermont? That place is so dull, I'll have to spend the 10 grand on cocaine just to liven things up. <laughs> if I wanted to go someplace cold and empty, I could look in a mirror. <laughs> As you all know from my Instagram, I'm not just a booty model, I'm also a wellness junkie. I'm always looking for the newest shortcut to a healthier life, whether it's the paleo diet, Pilates, or committing medical insurance fraud. I may not have the body of a 35-year-old, but I have his Blue Cross card. <laughs> so you can imagine my excitement when I heard of a new all-natural miracle drug. Now to the soaring popularity of CBD, that extract from the cannabis plant that doesn't get you high, but is being promoted for so many uses, from insomnia to chronic pain. You just feel very calm. It's like, it's like taking a big chill pill. CBD oil comes from the hemp plant. It has trace amounts of THC, but usually too small to make anyone high. Not enough THC to get you high? Challenge accepted. <laughs> This will be a lot easier than the time I tried to get drunk on Purell. It got rid of my gingivitis and my stomach. But yes, the new wellness rage is CBD, marijuana's less fun cousin. They say it has all the benefits of weed without the high. But then what's the point? I only smoke weed to get high. I'm not doing it to make friends with white guys who love reggae. <laughs> The whole world is doing CBD. But there's one tiny issue. The B in CBD might stand for bullshit. There's still no conclusive scientific evidence yet that CBD products actually have health benefits. Buyer beware. You know, wait. No, no going into it that there is no evidence for it. But if, if you're going to walk out feeling better, I'm not going to say that's a terrible thing. But again, as a scientist and as a society, let's get the real evidence. So we don't know if CBD works. But we do know it makes a buttload of money. Basically, CBD is Ivanka Trump. <laughs> and if you're a CBD user who's getting angry because I said it doesn't work, guess what? You getting angry means it's not <laughs> working. <laughs> if you live in New York City, you've always been forced to make a choice. You're in a car or 
you're in the subway. You can only masturbate in one. <laughs> but now the city wants to cut down on road traffic and push everyone into the subway. And people aren't happy about it. This passenger is trying to get a 30-foot steel beam onto the train. He's about to ride the whole train with that. Fellow riders lend a hand. Ain't got help now. What do you know? It fits. A commuter in New York City made a subway car into a jungle. This video was posted on Twitter Sunday. Man drags tree after tree onto the car for more than three minutes. Meanwhile, people on Twitter were shocked that he was able to pull this off. Look at all those trees. It's like Central Park, but inside. <laughs> all that's missing is some guy bathing in a fountain full of pigeon shit. <laughs> By the way, we can all agree that he stole that beam, right? <laughs> I mean, he's not on his way to a construction job, and they're like, Tony, don't forget to bring the beams from home tomorrow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, and if you're gonna miss making yourself pretty in the car, don't worry. You can do that on the subway, too. How would you like to ride to work next to this person? Or this guy shaving his head? People clipping their nails, eating on... Oh, yeah, that's it. Clipping their nails. Toenails, too. <laughs> Want proof? Hey, that's my lawyer! Hey, Ben! <laughs> but yes, subway riders are shaving their heads and clipping their nails. You know who I blame for this? Queer Eye. They taught men how to groom themselves, but didn't tell them where to do it. <laughs> You know, America has been blessed with some top-notch diseases. Swine flu, bird flu, and of course, pizza rat chlamydia. <laughs> I've had them all. Well, good news, now we're even more blessed because one of America's classic diseases is making a comeback. Right now, the U.S. is experiencing its worst measles outbreak since 2014, with 349 cases in 26 states in the past year. Measles is no laughing matter. Measles can kill and... It is exquisitely contagious. So uh, you can be in a room uh, where somebody with measles had left two hours earlier and still get the disease. <laughs> measles can survive in a room for two hours. There's not enough hand sanitizer in the world. You can never be too careful. <laughs> that was vodka, by the way. A heightened Purell bottle so I could drink it in public. <laughs> but yes, the measles are back like a new Kids on the Block reunion tour. No one asked for it, and no one's happy to see it. I thought measles were Dark Ages crap we successfully eliminated from the planet like the dodo. If you say you're a bird, but you can't fly, you're a liar! How did this happen? Modern medicine had pretty much eradicated measles, but it turns out science is no match for its greatest foe, idiots. This month, the World Health Organization called the anti-vaccine movement a major threat to public health. Hundreds rallied to preserve their right not to vaccinate their children. It is highly contagious. Yes, it Perhaps is. Perhaps one of the most contagious diseases out there. Yes, it is. Are you afraid you're putting your child at risk? No, I don't feel like I'm putting my child at risk. There's nothing that's going to change my mind on this, on that specific vaccination. If you read the fine print, it, I'm sure somewhere it says, you know, there is a possible fatal outcome there, <laughs> some possible <laughs> fatal consequences, and that, that gets you a little worried. <laughs> I love morons. If you read the fine print, well, actually, I've read the fine print of measles, and you know what the side effects include? Dying of measles! <laughs> so where do these dummies get these dumb ideas? The same place that wants you to believe your miserable aunt and closeted uncle are actually happy the internet, but social media are finally starting to get their act together. Facebook said, quote, we've taken steps to reduce the distribution of health-related misinformation on Facebook, but we know we have more to do. Pinterest is blocking searches related to vaccinations. The social media company says it wants to curb the spread of misinformation. Most shared images on Pinterest relating to vaccinations advise against them. Who the is getting their health information on Pinterest. <laughs> I 
that's where you're supposed to plan weddings and find tacky home decor. Then again, on Pinterest, you can find tips on how not to vaccinate your kid and then find the perfect headstone for your unvaccinated kid. <laughs>